spawn. It's the first month of one epic year for gaming. Though 2011 brought with it tons of great new IPs and long-awaited sequels, 2012 shaping up to be even better. Whether you game on consoles, handhelds, or PCs, the next 12 months look to be packed with releases that are sure to satisfy. We here at GamerSpawn have rounded up the best of the coming year to get you amped up for 2012. Kid Icarus Uprising The 3DS got off to a slower than expected start with a high price and a weak launch lineup. A set of games that somehow had no Mario, Kirby, Zelda, or Metroid. Even Kid Icarus Uprising, the game Nintendo chose to feature at the big 3DS reveal, didn't make the launch window. But Nintendo's been correcting its mistakes one by one, and Kid Icarus Uprising will finally hit March 23rd. Featuring a partly on-rails third-person action experience, Kid Icarus is a total departure from the pair of games that came out over two decades ago. Its gorgeous graphics should complement the 3DS namesake technology nicely, but it's impossible to predict how successful the total package from Project Sora will be. Whatever the case, it's safe to say that Uprising will be one of the premier games to watch for Nintendo's latest portable device. Effect 3. It goes without saying that the conclusion to BioWare's epic space trilogy will be one of the best-selling games this year. The gameplay trailers we've seen so far have been big, action-oriented affairs, hinting at a finale that should go out with a bang. The game will continue where you left off, loading up your Mass Effect 2 save file to carry over all the details of the decisions your Shepard made and whom he was able to save in the last game's final chapter. The game's narrative will follow Shepard as he struggles to repel a Reaper attack on Earth and restore his good name. In addition to the central storyline, BioWare has honed the combat to appeal to traditional shooter fans even more. The company's even tacked on a multiplayer co-op mode that dovetails with the single-player campaign to tell a fuller story and help players achieve better endings. While it's clear that the RPG giant is taking a lot of risks here, we're willing to give this one a chance to show what it's got up its sleeve. Borderlands 2 In 2009, Borderlands packed a punch with its unique RPG and FPS hybrid gameplay. But the game wasn't without its problems. Interface issues, a weak story, and heavy grinding got in the way of the role-playing shooter's enjoyable parts. Now, Gearbox hopes to up the ante and smooth over the original issues with the full sequel due out this July, Borderlands 2. Featuring new classes as well as returning favorites, the game will focus on eliminating many of the repetitive elements of the first. Gearbox is retooling class balance in order to make each character type completely unique, as well as working hard to give each gun type its own distinct flavor and application. The development team is also trying to rework the AI system to make for a more strategic and interesting combat experience each time you play. Since the original had so much potential and so many great ideas, we fully expect Borderlands 2 to be one of the top games to keep tabs on in 2012. Bioshock Infinite Bioshock is easily one of the most influential games of the past decade. But Bioshock 2, while brilliant, was just more of the same. But that's all changing with Bioshock Infinite, which will lift only the framework and thematic elements of the series while changing just about everything else. A new fantastical setting in the clouds, new philosophic subject matter centering around America's identity as a nation, and new combat and companions. It's a wildly different sequel. Early gameplay videos have been extremely impressive, though questions about the Bioshock formula's adaptability to the new era and surroundings still remain. Elizabeth. 
As with the first game, the narrative will be divulged largely through the game's surroundings, though there will be a stronger emphasis on relationships with friendly AI partners. We're confident to say this one has the potential to be one of the best games of the year. Diablo 3 It's hard to imagine a game going into 2012 with more buzz and hype than Blizzard's long-awaited third entry in the famed Diablo series. Expectations are sky-high after a 12-year wait since Diablo 2, as Blizzard has been focused on its World of Warcraft and StarCraft franchises. Despite some initial trepidation over what was perceived as an art style too bright and bubbly for the traditional Dark franchise, Further details revealed the game will actually play fairly closely to the original games. Still, there's always room for innovation, and Blizzard's focusing on fine-tuning the interface, a gorgeous new 3D graphics engine, and a laundry list of enhancements and additions to the classic formula. While Diablo imitators have come and gone, the most recent, Torchlight, is dropping a sequel next year. There's nothing that can provide that addicting, loot-gathering, dungeon-crawler experience quite like Diablo. Expect this one to be huge. Dragon Quest X The Wii's had its fair share of stinkers in the Dragon Quest franchise, having only seen mediocre spin-offs rather than numbered entries as the Nintendo DS and PS2 have as of late. But next year, Square Enix aims to redeem the series' acclaim among Nintendo console owners with Dragon Quest X. Not only does the game represent a change in tone towards home Nintendo systems for the series, but it will also be taking big risks as it becomes the first ever MMO in the franchise, subscription fees and all. Dragon Quest X is still a big question mark all the way around, but the mere release of a numbered DQ title is enough to raise some eyebrows, let alone an announcement of a Wii, Wii U cross-platform exclusive. The game appears to retain classic Dragon Quest combat pillars, such as first-person monster views, turn-based attacks, and a customizable party. In fact, DQ-10 will even kick things up a notch, allowing players to pick among six different races for their adventures across multiple continents. Whether this one floats or flounders, it's sure to be one of the main events of 2012. Halo 4 after Halo Reach, Bungie moved on to bigger and better things, leaving its franchise in the hands of Microsoft and 343 Industries. The new developers have decided to continue Master Chief Saga after the conclusion to Halo 3, kicking off a new set of titles called the Reclaimer Trilogy. As such, the game will simply reveal the tip of the iceberg of a larger, darker plotline that will only be nice and tied up after Halo 6 many years from now. The big unknown here is how well 343 will manage taking up the Halo torch from the legends at Bungie. The new team has had some experience with the franchise, having handled the recent Halo Combat Evolved remake for the Xbox 360, as well as in-game content development on post-Bungie Halo Reach. Still, a full Halo game's no small feat, and we'll be waiting with bated breath to see what they've been able to pull off. Max Payne 3. After years of dormancy, the Max Payne franchise returns early this year with an all new look for Max, a totally new setting, and an in depth multiplayer mode. The game will retain classic Payne action heavy gameplay, but will add more modern features such as partial zoom and sticking to cover. Perhaps less promising is the announcement of always controversial QTE sequences to augment some of the more intense storyline moments. Also divisive are the new, brighter settings of Sao Paulo, Brazil, and Max's new overly cynical attitude. On the plus side, multiplayer will feature an intriguing new Gang Wars mode that dynamically changes the objectives and turf over which you'll battle online opponents. As is the norm these days, Max Payne 3 will include persistent statistics and unlockable weapon trees. Even though the original developers aren't around anymore, we're still hopeful that Rockstar will be able to knock this one out of the park. Ghost Recon Future Soldier 
The next entry in the Ghost Recon franchise will push the series further into the future and further towards third-person action shooter territory. Far more advanced warfighter than the classic PC original, Future Soldier centers around Russian ultranationalists and the ghost team that's out to stop them from invading neighboring countries. Your team of four highly trained, highly specialized soldiers will fight tooth and nail to get the job done. The new game will heavily emphasize futuristic technology for the Ghost team to employ, including an invisibility cloak, drones, and weapons that are customizable right down to the nuts and bolts. Of course, there will be a strong focus on the game's multiplayer mode, a big draw for the last few games in the series. Who's that? What do I know? Jesus. We're not done. Move out. Far Cry 3. Rounding out the big sequels for this year is the third core Far Cry game. Exploring and expanding upon the open world structure introduced in the first game and blown to huge proportions in the second, Far Cry 3 will drop players in a Pacific Ocean island sandbox, eschewing the second game's African setting for something of a return to the debut title's paradisaical scenery. There will also be lots of big loud guns and fast powerful vehicles. We don't have a ton of gameplay info yet, but the E3 demo Ubisoft put together seemed to indicate a new experience-based leveling system and stealth mode. Whatever the new mechanics and ideas that the development team decides to introduce, we'll be keeping a close eye on this one as it nears release date. There they are, our most anticipated games of the year. Of course, every year brings with it unexpected surprises from the big dogs, low-profile indie games that end up blowing us out of the water, and shocking industry developments that change the way we game forever. There's no telling just what the gaming landscape will look like from 2013, but let's hope for the best. From all of us at GamerSpot, have a great game.